and we will need those heaters tonight, whether it's that central heating or whether it's the space heaters, it's going to get chilly out there. Absolutely. A few extra blankets, the heaters, you're going to need everything tonight. It gets cold once again, and it was a beautiful start to the week, a beautiful Monday once again. Look at this time lapse from Mount Laguna. You can see those clouds building. Those are high cirrus clouds, and it is because of those clouds that we got to see a solar halo. I have a photo to show you once we get there. Let's see if we can advance this uh, little clicker. It's not doing the job. Alrighty, that's there it is. This one was taken and posted to our 10 News Weather Watchers page by Dan. And Dan, you can see that solar halo that is created by two different factors, refraction, the refraction of the light and also by splitting of the light through ice crystals within this clouds. They're made of tiny little ice crystals, and that is why you're able to see that. And also a lot of you ask, is there rain coming soon? Typically you hear that saying, well, there's a possibility by the end of the week. We'll get to the details in a second, but right now it is 63 degrees. It feels great out there, not everywhere. Those numbers will be dropping possibly between 20 to 35 degrees from where we're now to what we'll see tomorrow morning. And that is why we have a frost advisory in effect from midnight all the way through 8 a.m. You can see here most of our valleys are included, inland areas and also the deserts. Temperatures will average tonight anywhere from 28 degrees to 36. A few things to keep in mind with this frost advisory. It'll bring danger, uh, dangerous conditions to plants and crops. And if you have outdoor pets, make sure they are safe tonight and they have a warm Warm place to be also make sure they have water that's not frozen. Temperatures will be much colder as we go into the overnight hours. Big differences from day to night time. Here's why we have this cool air in place. Storm system brew into the north and eventually we'll see some changes by the end of the week. But before we get to the rain, there's going to be a warm up and it's brought by this high pressure system getting stronger. It'll be brief. It, it'll be just visiting us by the middle of the week and then it's out of here by Friday. Overnight lows tonight dropping down to 36 degrees. Escondido 38 in Kearney Mesa. We had some pretty low numbers last night. We'll see those numbers very close once again in Ramona. Actually below 30 degrees. 38 in Hamul, 41 Chula Vista and 57 in La Jolla. So we go city by city. Temperatures averaging around 71 in Spring Valley. Over to Santee, 72 degrees, 70 Rancho Bernardo and 64 in La Jolla. Over towards Valley Center, 71, 67 in Sanitas and 70 in Fallbrook, 55 in Julian. And we're going to keep those numbers uh, pretty chilly overnight into tomorrow, 67. Clear skies on Wednesday. The warmest day of the week will be Wednesday, and then we'll see those numbers trending back down by the end of the week with a chance of showers on Friday. By the way, November, four storms, one every single week. Mm. Now we're heading yeah. into the first week of December, and there's a chance of rain, of rain once again. Love so that. Good news. And Perfect low time. temps. Thank you, Angelica.